Yeah. Oh. So Owen is better at sorcery and karate than you, eh, Xanatos? Let's move to the next item on the agenda. <clears throat> that would be the meeting with the Emir at two. Tell him to be here at one. And if he refused? Miles is the only cop who realizes there are other floors in his clock tower precinct. If they ever show the clock tower library again, but they definitely don't feature it as often as they could have. What are you reading? Dostoevsky. Yeah? Who's it by? Goliath overreact much? This is Travis Marshall at the Museum of Modern Art, where one of the world's most priceless jewels, the Eye of Odin, is being donated by David Xanatos from his private collection. Why is this medieval jewelry being held at the Museum of Modern Art? <laughs> so that guard's dead, right? Even if Sanitos was holding back a mech-powered pulled punch should have at least caused some cranial fragments in her head trauma. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you didn't know it was Sanitos inside this Goliath costume. Wait for backup, we don't know how many there might be! Police, freeze! No! Useless cliffhanger. You heard the mechanical sound the armor made and there are no red-colored gargoyles up to this point. Many sins for the eerie building's existence. I'll cover the sin count for the whole series in this episode. Even by wily Coyote standards, the physics for this is too absurd. And there's no refuge under this being a cartoon. If you don't understand the logistical problems, just picture any European castle you may have seen or visited, then imagine that giant ass fortress placed on top of a skyscraper. The only way this place could exist in real life is if Castle Wyvern were inflatable. If you're still not convinced, ask yourself, would you feel comfortable walking at street level underneath this precariously placed structure? Thanatos, of course, knew Goliath would show up to confront him at that exact moment. Because he knew Goliath just got a new TV set. He's a mega genius, remember? <laughs> Giant ass headquarters of billionaire Thanatos only has room for one staff member. He's on the Osborne Luthor budget. Come on, hurry! I could tell working with you is gonna be good aerobics. Either this is recycled animation, which is always a sin, or Maza and Bluestone are driving towards the Erie building, the same place they were just leaving. Perhaps Sanato's program is still clown with pseudo stormtrooper aim since they do not intend to kill the gargoyles here, but. Those random laser shots would still create some structural collateral damage. Good thing a heavier gargoyle didn't get cut hanging precariously here, as in literally any other gargoyle in this whole series. Thanatos of course knew the gargoyles would not even be bruised from a brick wall collapsing onto them. Like a genius in effect yet again. That's them! Look! I'm telling you! Look at the gargoyles! Look at the gargoyles! Look at the gargoyles! I know they tried to resolve this later by claiming it was all just robots, but doesn't this episode still take away a little from the reveal of the gargoyles to the public in the Hunter's Moon arc? Xanatos tried to quite blatantly frame the gargoyles with that robbery earlier, but he never planned to cover that up with the robot excuse, so sent on that moment too. How rude. Damaging of a national landmark. <laughs> Give it up, dumpster face. Dumpster face. Yeah. 
you need a scan to confirm these robots are rubbish. I don't know what the top speed of a gargoyle is, but it is clearly faster than the speed of helicopter or searchlight. So is this guy the only news reporter in New York City? I mean, I know it's a really small community, but... The public's been reassured that the gargoyles were robots. The public are a bunch of idiots, then. It would appear that your plan to learn the gargoyle's hiding place has gone awry, sir. Not really. Xanatos apparently kept his mecha suit on for hours until sunrise, just so he could have his dramatic reveal. I have the Eye of Odin back in my private collection, and the city owes me a favor for donating it. I successfully tested this prototype battle exoframe, and the most important thing, I was a little worried that I might be getting soft, but I was able to stand up against Goliath, the greatest warrior alive. Typical Xanatos 4D chess scheme. However, if the Eye of Odin were seen in public, they would know you were the thief. Of course, Xanatos is too smart to foul up like that, until he gives the Eye away as an engagement gift. Also, Xanatos cannot be literally commending Goliath's fighting ability, since he has been outdated by about a thousand years of modernized warfare at this point. The greatest warrior alive in 1994 would be Tim Hardaway, or Chris Mullen. I'd say I've still got the edge. They waited right to the end for this totally not contrived title drop. <laughs> Gotta still remove a few sins for the excellent animation in this one though. This was a minor episode, but it still looks superb. On that note, rest in peace Walt Disney Animation Japan.